most exciting time in your life up to this point, the most important game you've played up to this point. It is an awesome responsibility, all right, to wear this jersey. It's an awesome accountability issue to walk beside the guy right beside you. Those guys have bled, they've been sweating, and they had tears just like you have in many, many times in your athletic career. You're a band of brothers, but we have collusion among ourselves to make sure we got it. We paid the price together. We've encouraged other, we've complained to each other about how hard it is, but I promise you, it's an earned task. You have earned it. You put the time in and you've made it happen the way that we set it out to be, we. We set it out to go one direction and that's all the way to the top. Now that you're at the top of the mountain, go finish it off. Hey, Woo! capture the flag because the flag says Argyle, you understand me? These kids were told that they were gonna win the first state championship. We knew when we got circled up at Northwest Stadium that we had the potential to be one of the best teams in the state at that point, even at that young of an age. This, this little picture of us circled up and that little prophecy, if you want to call it, that kind of resurfaced this year at the beginning of the year. Somebody sent me a, a photo and, and called me on the phone and said, do you remember at Northwest Stadium? I said, yeah, I do. Well, I hadn't thought about that in a long time. And so that kind of became a, a kind of a, a, a story or a destiny or kind of a, 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 an aura over the season. Everyone knew that the, that the tools were there, that these kids had been prepared from an early age with all of the outside help, the, the coaching, the skills, the training. It's definitely not easy. Uh, even though I'm a kicker and people always think that kickers have the life, but it was definitely not easy. Argyle is known for winning. Coming into this year, I think, I mean, we had one goal and that was to win a state championship. Through the last offseason and the summertime, it was the hardest that a football team in Argyle has worked. Across the board, it was, you know, they, not literally three hours a day, but the way they see it, three hours a day for six years, starting in middle school, being up here in the morning, being up here on Saturdays, weightlifting, running. Some of these kids gave up other sports. Did they love it? Yeah. Were they tired? Yeah. Did they hate it some days? Of course but they, for six years, poured everything in their being, everything in school, everything on the weekends, into Argyle football, and it paid off for them. I had a lot of emotional moments throughout the course of the season. When my father passed away on, on August the 5th, the first, you know, the, literally the first day of two days, it was, it was very difficult for me emotionally uh, to be able to, to deal with that. I'm doing a current Bible study right now and, and, they're at, and there was a question asked in the Bible study and it says, what is the, what is the best year of your life and what is the, uh, mo the most challenging year of your life? And with, without any hesitation, I believe 2013 is the answer to both questions. The regular season has its trials and tribulations. We had a few bumps and bruises. When a kid gets hurt on the field, I tend to be uh, pretty optimistic. Everybody remembers the Arbor game, and they don't probably even remember the score. They remember that is the game that Sam Sizedove got hurt. Tearing my ACL, it honestly sucked more than anything. <laughs> Seeing your teammates doing it without you is not fun, and it was hard to get over, but having my teammates there for me just to uh, kind of keep me going and say they, like, I'm still part of the team, they still need me, just, it really helped, but uh, it was not an easy experience at all. Our best player got hurt, our best defensive player got hurt, and I think that to the T, it benefited our team because they were able to pull together and further unify and solidify, just like the, the passing of my father. It was only a tip of the iceberg with my father passing away and for them you know, to want to unite under his cause, and then for Sam to be hurt, it had the same kind of impact. When you set out one of your goals is to win a state championship, I think most teams 
dream about that, but that's a very realistic expectation for this group of Argyle Eagles, and expectations are as high as they've ever been in Argyle, and for good reason. Return to the Mac, get him what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit me get up. Losing was not an option. In their minds, it was not a credible outcome for the season. It is a state championship game. It's it's the last deal. It's the last straw, and uh, you don't have to look forward to the next game. You don't have to hold anything back. You can sell your soul right there on that football field in AT and T Stadium. Lately, I've been, I've been losing sleep. I'm crying my eyes out, and he's crying his eyes out. I'm telling him you did it, and he's saying I love you. Man, that's etched forever. There's no reserve left in the tank. Okay, it never has been and it never will. 2013 has been a challenging year for us. Uh, my dad died the first day of uh, a good day. And, and for my son and I to, to win on this is pretty cool. Winning a state championship in football is the pinnacle of coaching. My head coach's position, I wouldn't describe it as fun. <laughs> I would describe it as nauseating and anxiety ridden. Uh, uh, but uh, it's a good old fashioned football game with a lot of lead changes. I mean, it, it, it's one for the ages.